Hey, what's up, Tani here? Welcome to my channel and another video. Today I'm back with another tea and books. Ah, it's hot to hold. Ow, 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 ow. Right, so if you still don't know, my tea and books are my wrap up of my recent reads and also just for uh, to say so you know i don't know how if i'm gonna do any more of these in the near future because i am socially awkward and i hate talking to the camera when there's people in this house in this apartment i usually only do these videos when i'm alone and currently i am living alone but my aunt and my uncle with whom i'm living right now are coming back from Thailand a month before they actually planned because you know you know the shit that's going on right now unpredictable year this year is unpredictable as hell and I hate it I just it makes me anxious honestly I've never felt like this I'm just so I don't know but anyway um I'm gonna wrap up a couple of books that I've read recently. It's gonna be four books, two mangas and two novels. Two of them are digital and two of them are physical. So I'm gonna start with the manga. First off, I have a series that I've been reading for ages. It feels like forever and I never want it to end, but I know it will probably sooner than later but I just absolutely still to this day love this series so freaking much and that is Haikyuu volumes 27 to 33 and I just this series just I don't even know what I should say at this point because y'all know how much I love this series if you've been following me for long enough you all know I adore this. I have been loving this forever and it's one of my favorite series. Definitely my favorite sports manga. So I just, the characters and everything, it's just, I don't even want to say anything because A, everyone knows what this is about and B, it's boys who play volleyball and there's drama and stuff and I'm here for it and I love every single character in this series which I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing because it's just the pain is too much but yes Haikyuu 27 to 33 I have 34 on my TBR shelf, which is the last volume I own, so I will see when I will pick up more of these. But yes, so for right now, I've read 33 volumes of IQ, and I just I don't have to say anything anymore. All right, the next is a manga that I've got a digital copy of, and oh damn it, uh, it's called Kaku Shigoto. My dad's secret ambitions. I think it's something like that. You will see a picture here. Um, I always thought it was Kaku Shigoto, which has something to do with work, because Shigoto in Japanese means work. But it's not, it's actually their name, and it's Kakushi, Kakushi Goto. But it's written in one thing on the manga, so I was confused. But anyway, that's that is not the point. I I got this from NetGalley for free for a review. It's originally Kodansha and it's a new release in English. I think there's three volumes as I saw. I'm not completely sure. I know there's I was looking this up and I think there's like three volumes in French. So I assume that's all there is, but I'm not sure if there's more Japanese ones. But anyway, um, I thought it was cute because it has a dad and a girl on the cover and it's like a father-daughter thing and I love this sort of manga. Just like an adult with a kid, that's just me, especially if the adult is a man because I love it, like Barakemon, um, Yotsuba, Sweetness and Lightning, just like manga like that just i love it these are like the slice of life manga i love because i just 
the father is always so adorable so I'm always here for that so I thought I'm gonna ask and request to read this manga to get this manga for free as a digital copy and I did and it's like really hard to explain how I feel about it I didn't hate it and I didn't love it at first I was like on a three star thing when I re read it but then the end of the manga kind of was really funny so I put it up to a 3.5 is it a 3 for pack 5 or a 4? I don't... Like my brain is just... Nope. Anyway, um... Basically this manga is about a father who is a manga artist and he does a bit of a not safe for work manga and he does this in secret like people know but his daughter doesn't know and he wants to keep his keep it a secret from his daughter for the rest of her life and he always pretends he's going to work like wearing a suit and all that just so she sees that and then he just goes to his like office where they do manga and then he changes like in his comfortable clothes with his t-shirt and his shorts or naked He's a weird one, but I love it. I, I kind of like him as a character. He was funny. And so basically it's just him working on his manga and trying to hide it from his daughter. That's basically the manga. But also the mangaka kind of, kind of writes out of their own perspective. I'm not sure if this is like really what this mangaka is going through, but in the middle, like in between, the chapters there is like some text about that the mangaka wrote about themselves and about trying to hide that they are a mangaka because it's not really that great of a job apparently like for some people see it like that they're like ashamed of their job and it was kind of sad to read these parts because like to know that manga can feel that way or some of them do and just to see a little bit how the whole thing works with an editor and all that and how a lot of their ideas aren't getting picked up as they want them to be and all that stuff and but I don't know it's just I didn't feel the manga at first like the first two-thirds of the manga were good but not like oh this is awesome I can't wait for the next volume and the last bit was just hilarious and I laughed a lot and for that I pushed it up in my rating. Um, I will probably read the other volumes if I can get them digitally as well. I won't buy it but I will read it digitally however I'm getting the volumes, if I'm buying them or if I'm getting them I don't know yet because they're not out yet. This is actually a new release in English. I think it came out this month. If I'm not wrong, it came out in March. So it's a new release. So I don't know when the next volume is gonna come out. But anyway, that's Kaku Shigoto, My Dad's Secret Ambition. It's funny, if you like, if you wanna have a father-daughter manga and about a manga artist and how he tries to hide his job you should definitely give it a try and that's for the manga then for the novels first there is a book that I've finally finished and I'm so happy I did finish it because it literally took me about a year to finish it because I took a break from it last summer and I haven't picked it up until this month which is really sad because I really like it but I don't know why I just probably I was reading a lot of other stuff so and that's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets the illustrated version which is just absolutely beautiful these these illustrated versions but if you love Harry Potter you should invest in these because just for the illustrations alone these books are incredible and if you don't own the harry potter series and you want them you should definitely pick up these there's four out so far so the first four books i only have three i need to get the fourth one but yeah 
Anyway, I finished this. This was a reread. I've read the book seven years ago. I don't really remember exact time I've read this, but it must be around 2012-2013. I don't remember. But I just... The experience you have reading this in the illustrated version is just so amazing. And also next month is Owl's Readathon, which is a Harry Potter readathon, and for that I am going to read the third book, The Prisoner of Azkaban. So I had to finish this obviously to continue, so I wanted to make it a mission to finish it, and I did, and I loved it, and it's just Harry Potter, and I don't have to say anything else, but these editions are absolutely gorgeous. I wish all the books were like this, honestly. Give some of the artists some work to do and do all these books, honestly, these would be so beautiful. They're just, even if it's just text, just the whole thing, the backgrounds, it's never just white background. So it's always something or you have it like that. And it's just beautiful, all the illustrations to follow along with the story, and yes, I love it. Five out of five, always. And I'm excited to read the next one in this edition, because just that alone makes it awesome experience, so. But yes, this is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And then the last novel I'm gonna talk about is also an ebook that I got from NetGalley in exchange for an honest review and it's called From the Dark We Came by Jay Emery and it's a paranormal romance with vampires which I'm always here for that and but it's Again, a short one, it's only 134 pages, so it's not that long, and I wish it was longer. Honestly, I love this book. I mean, I gave it four stars just because it wasn't long enough for me. So, you can, you know. So basically the synopsis of this was that there's a vampire hunter and there's a vampire and they fall in love and I was like yes please and basically the whole thing is that the vampire is hiring the vampire hunter to hunt one of his own because there's also bad vampires so some of the vampires want to get rid of other vampires so he hired the vampire hunter to hunt that vampire which also or whatever it is I think I think he doesn't even know exactly who it is, so... But that same bad thing is also hunting the vampire hunter, so it's kind of a win-win thing, and it's kind of a hate-to-love thing going on, but it's not like hate-hate, but it's just he's a vampire hunter, so... Naturally, he's like, no vampires, nope. And then he kind of starts to like the vampire, and he's like, no, that can't be happening because I'm a vampire hunter, this is not supposed to happen. So that was kind of the hate to love thing, but it's not exactly hate hate. It's just more of a dislike and, you know. But I was here for it and for the fact it was only 130 something pages. There was so much character and world building and everything was just great and I was here for it. I mean, usually when you read a novel that is like 130 pages, you don't expect too much world. It's just basically like this, this and that character get together and then there's some stuff happening and then it's the end. But it felt like so big and I really 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 want to know more and have more of this book or of this series of this world and I really wish there would be more I would totally commit to this I would totally commit to a like 10 book series of this because the world building was just from these pages it was so well done and I was so intrigued and I really want to get to know it even more and 
get into it deeper and find out more about this vampire society that's also in here and just the characters, everything. I loved it. Like, if you like a vampire paranormal romance with two guys, male, you should read it because it's great. Also, the vampire hunter is demisexual, so there's that. Also, there's a lot of trigger warnings for like violence and blood and all that stuff because vampires, so naturally you get like slaying and that shit in the book so obviously but yes i absolutely loved it i didn't expect to love it as much as i did i just really wanted more I, it, it was finished and i was like i want more i want to know more about these characters i want to know more about the world i want to know more about the vampires and just i want more why is there no more? Makes me sad. This is why it's four stars, because it makes me sad that there's no more. But yes, this is what I've read. This and the two ebooks, e manga. It's called e manga. Whatever, you know what I mean. So, yes, that's my recent reads, and I am excited to jump into the owls next month my tbr is already here i already posted it in case you haven't seen it and yes that's it for this video i hope you liked it and i will see you in my next one bye